Hi there and welcome to our latest look at constellations and today we're going to look at Hercules. Located in the northern sky, it was named after Hercules, the Roman version of the Greek uh, hero Heracles. And Heracles sometimes is associated with the Sumerian uh, hero Gilgamesh. And the constellation has a long history dating back to Sumerian times. Hercules is the fifth largest constellation in the sky, but has no first magnitude stars. Notable deep sky objects include the great globular cluster of M13, Messier 13, uh, M92, another globular cluster, and the planetary nebulas Abel 39 and NGC 6210, which we'll look at later on. And of course, the Hercules cluster of galaxies. Major stars-wise, well, the main asterism, the keystone, which sits in the middle and represents the body of Hercules, is formed by four bright stars, Pi, Eta, Zeta and Epsilon. But we'll begin by looking at Corneferus, which is Beta Hercules. It's the brightest star in the constellation and its name comes from Greek and means club bearer. Corneferus has an apparent magnitude of 2.81 and is about 139 light years from us. Zeta Hercules is a multiple star with a combined magnitude of 2.81 and it's about 35 light years from us. It's the brightest of the four stars in the keystone uh, asterism. And Sarin, Delta Hercules, is another star system in Hercules, composed between two and five stars. The primary is a main sequence subgiant, twice the size of the Sun, with an apparent magnitude of 3.12 and is 75.1 light years distant from us. Pi Hercules is another star in the Keystone. It has an apparent magnitude of 3.15 and is approximately 377 light years from us. And Ras Al Ghetti, Alpha Hercules, is a multiple star system. Uh, in a telescope, it can be resolved into two components Alpha 1 Hercules with an apparent magnitude of 2.19 and Alpha 2 Hercules with a magnitude of 5.4. Marfak Al Jathil Al Asia or Mu Hercules, is another star system in the constellation. The primary component, 27.1 light years away from us, with a mass 1.1 times that of the Sun, with a magnitude of 3.4. And Sophian, or Eta Hercules, is a main sequence star, with an apparent magnitude of 3.48, and it's about 112 light years from us. Before we move on, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribers are really important to me. Uh, it shows people appreciate what I'm doing. So thank you. Moving on to deep sky objects in Hercules, we're going to start with the great globular cluster M13, Messier 13. It's a globular cluster of stars containing about 300,000 stars with an apparent magnitude of 5.8. It's approximately 22,000 uh, light years from us. And as an aside, in 1974, um, SETI scientists using the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico um, sent a, a message to hypothetical extraterrestrials to let them know about life on our planet. And it was directed, or the transmission went in the direction of Messier 13. It was believed at the time that because of the star density, the chances of finding a planet that harbours life were greater. Unfortunately, the calculations weren't quite right. And by the time the message arrives there in 22,000 years, M13 will have moved to a different location. M92, Messier 92, is another well-known globular cluster. And it's relatively bright with a magnitude of 6.3, about 26,000 light years away. It's one of the older clusters in the Milky Way galaxy with an estimated age of 14.2 billion years, which puts it around the same age as the universe itself, just a little bit younger. And the Hercules cluster... Abel 2151 is a galactic cluster about 500 million light years from us and contains about 200 galaxies and is very rich in spiral galaxies and it's part of the larger Hercules supercluster. Abel 39 is a planetary nebula about 6,800 light years away and is almost perfectly spherical in shape with a radius of about 2.5 light years. This makes it one of the largest known spherical nebula. An ARP or ARP272 is the name for a pair of colliding spiral galaxies in Hercules. The galaxies are NGC 6050 and IC 1179, about 450 million light years away. And Hercules A is an active galaxy. 
It appears to be a regular elliptical galaxy, but when imaged in radio frequency, there are plasma jets spanning over a million light years coming out from it. The centre of the galaxy has a mass a thousand times greater than the Milky Way, and it has a black hole which again has a thousand times more massive uh, than Sagittarius A star, uh, the centre of our galaxy. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed that look at uh, Hercules. So, take care, dark skies, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs>